I'm gonna show you how you can put this outfit on a child model using AI for free. The tool we're gonna be using today is called Outfit Changer. So the link is gonna be in my description. You can go straight there to get it. When you go to Outfit Changer, this is how it looks. Um, you can sign up with any email address and then you try it out for free. Now this is how it's going to look this is a night mode so it's usually white for the day mode now it's really comprises of a m bunch of boxes and don't get confused you're really simple the first box is for the model a dummy model now as you can see at the bottom here there are samples of models but these are not child models okay these are adults so I'm going to show you how to use a child model and over here the next box is for the clothes like the outfit that you want the model to wear so let's dive right in first we're gonna upload our model now all you need is a picture of a child right who fits the description of what you want and probably has a nice background a model so we're just gonna click on this button and then we're gonna select our model all right, this is our model. All right, I'm gonna upload that. So this is the model that we are looking for. And now I'm gonna upload the dress that we probably made, right? Now this is the dress. Now to take an image of the dress, all you have to do is put it on the floor and take a picture from the top, or you can hang it on a hanger like it is in the picture and take a photo of it. Either way would work. Just make sure that there's enough lighting in the room and it looks just like it, the dress actually does. Okay. So now that we have our model in our clothes, beneath the outfit is description. We're going to describe what we want and it's going to be a girl's dress. We're just going to describe what it is and it's a girl's dress, right? Right. So that's really it. And we're going to click try on. So after we click the try on, we are going to be patient <laughs> and wait for the AI to generate the image. Now, the only thing that's going to change is the dress and everything else should remain the same. Make sure that both the picture of the outfit and the model are at decent quality. If the quality is bad, the generation will not look good. All right, there you go. This is the dress and our model looks beautiful. So you can just download it over here. There's an arrow right to the top right corner here and that says download. So you click on it to download your image you may want to change the face of the model because this is a model or an image that we picked online if this is an image of maybe a picture of your daughter or a friend's kid or someone you know that you want to be your model that is perfectly fine this is good to go you can use it but if not you may want to change the face of the model i have a tool just for that <laughs> and it's called we shop ai all right, I have a link in the description if you're interested and it will give you 400 free points to try WeShop AI. So this is how WeShop AI looks like. All we have to do is sign up. If you use my link, sign up with my link and then you go to my workspace. This is how it looks. Now we are going to go all the way to the left side over here where we have lots of different options and we're going to choose children because we're dealing with child models. So we'll click on children right here. And then on the left side, the purple button, we click new task. Now at new task here, we're going to upload the image. Now we're going to take the image that we just downloaded. Here she is. And then we're going to put it into the system. It's going to take some time to load up. But while it's doing that, we can look for a model to use. Now, these are the child models currently available. Um, there's an African-American girl. There's a brown-haired girl. 
um, there are quite a number of options to choose from. Um, mm, I think I'm going to go with this girl right here. And we're just going to edit. So now, remember, we want the dress. And only the dress. We don't really want anything else. If Most of the things would change a little. But um, if you want everything else to stay the same besides the model, you can change. So I just want the dress. If anything else changes, I'm perfectly fine with that. You can choose a location, but I have noticed that sometimes it's a little difficult. But let's just try this, a studio look. It may change the background and it may not. We Shop AI is not perfect yet. But removing the background will not be difficult using other apps like Canva. So after this, we're going to go to description and we are going to describe what we want. So a little girl. Um, smiling we can let her smile she's not smiling right now but we can let her smile that's nice you can also ask if you know her to hold have flowers in her hair hold a bag whatever but I just want to keep it simple so a little girl smiling at the bottom here we are going to hit generate but so now before you generate just know that's gonna take 40 points okay <laughs> if you use my link in the description you get 400 points so that's that's all good now we click generate and we wait. It's going to give you four different, slightly different options of the same image. Okay. And you can choose whichever one you want. I like that it does this because sometimes there are little hinks in each of the images. I'll explain to you when we get there. Yeah, this is what we get. So as you can see, her face is, she's smiling and she's different. She's darker than the original model. Um, the dress did not change, as I said, because we selected the dress, it stayed the same. If you look at the background, you notice that there are slight variations in the background. The, side, the sun is in, uh, slightly over here, giving her a bit of a, a glare by the hair and you know the grass looks a little different let's see the next image oh i'm loving this one this is also pretty cute she's smiling um there are more mountains in the background mountains are a little weird though it's like two layers of mountains kind of weird and this one is cute too but she's more blonde here but you can definitely tell the difference in the facial um features yeah yeah, I like this one too. So you just go through the images one by one, choose the one you like, and um, you just download the image. Now, I am feeling like the first one is pretty cool. So we can just download this. Now, you have two options, full size and 4K. F 4K is higher in quality, but full size is good enough for online purposes. So... I'll just download that one. All right. So now we are good to go. I just noticed that this in this particular image, the neckline is off. <laughs> yeah, it gave a different um, sleeve like thing as compared to the original. So definitely not. We'll definitely not use. That's why it's good. It generates four different images, right? So that's how you can move from that to this amazing stuff. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because we have more and more cool stuff coming up. Bye.